Hey folks, let me get some light in here. Uh, long time no brew. And to tell you the truth, uh, I've been pretty discouraged about home brewing recently. It started with that uh, Tequamanon Falls Amber Ale experiment, the original recipe that I concocted myself, um, and it just went to hell during brew day because I mismeasured the grain bill. I could have saved that, that batch, uh, but being an original recipe, I, I wanted it to go right. I didn't want to end up with a beer and go, hmm, I wonder what it would have been like had this not happened. So, you saw it in frustration. I just poured the whole thing out. Uh, so that was, that was that. Then about a week later, I was videoing a uh, taste testing of the Belgian Dark Strong that I had made. And I opened the first bottle and nothing. Second bottle, third bottle, nothing. Well, it did have a little bit of fizz, but it was very thin, kind of like a champagne fizz, and it burst out and was gone. Six out of nine bottles were like that. Not good. Not good. So then I got a six pack of the Vienna Lager I made back in December. Put it in the fridge, opened one up. Same thing. Five out of the six had that high, thin, uh, champagne-like fizziness that burst up and was gone. A sour taste, a sour smell, and I ended up pouring it all out. So three kicks in the ass in a row and I was ready just to step back for a while. Uh, no home brewing, just kind of chill. But then the weather started getting nice, and uh, now I can come outside without wearing a coat, and it's time to do some cleaning, put the brewery back together, and the next thing I'm gonna make is Denny Kahn's Rye IPA. Uh, one of my favorite recipes, and, and I always do this when I get discouraged, when I gotten the wind knocked out of my sails, I step back and I go back to something I know, uh, something that uh, I've made before and had much success with. So I'm just going to go back to basics and make a rye IPA. Not today, it's cleaning day. Shall we begin? So I've got water boiling in the boil kettle. Uh, I'll circulate that through all my other kettles, through the hoses, through the pumps, maybe a little OxyClean scrub here and there where it needs uh, scrubbing, rinse well, and I'll be ready to go whenever the mood strikes me to brew next. And looking at the extended forecast uh, through this weekend, all of next week, and into the weekend after, 52 to 54. The lowest temperatures in the next 10 days is a 48. So I've got my pick of brew days and I'll be making a rye IPA. So keep watching. Cold beer, we'll, 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 we'll. 